Hello, I'm back. It's part four. Uh, this will be the last for today. It's Saturday still, um, as my eyes are getting tired of reading. Um, so the declarations are, I refuse to let the iniquities in my life cause me to become bitter and hopeless and lead me to blame God for them. Father God, you are in control of my life. And like Joseph, I choose to learn obedience through my trials. Father, I will hold fast to your promise and seek only you as I pursue the dream in my heart. I will use this period of spiritual training in my life to focus on the greatness of my God instead of the impossibility of my circumstances. Father, I have lived in accordance to what I know of you. I have not willfully broken your laws. Therefore, I continue to hope in the fulfillment of my dreams. Holy Spirit, Fill me with your power and keep me from placing the blame for my troubles on my loved ones or the other people in my life. There is no man, woman, child, or devil that can ever get me out of the will of God. No one but God holds my destiny. I will not allow the enemy to cause me to seek revenge upon those who have wronged me. I will remain free from offense so that the plan of God can be established in my life. Father, enable me to remember that the times of trouble in my life are also filled with great opportunities for fulfilling my dream. No mortal man or devil can supersede the plan of God for my life. When I am treated unjustly by others, I refuse to become offended and therefore fulfill Satan's purpose to move me out of God's will. Nothing can come against me without your knowledge of it, O Lord. No temptation will overtake me because my faithful God has already made a way for me to escape it. God, you know every adverse situation that I will ever encounter, and I trust you to lead me the way of escape in every situation. I will not abort the fulfillment of God's promises in my life by my disobedience. So I hope that these are helpful for you. I know as I reflect, they give me encouragement and they also show me God's faithfulness. Um, you know, it, in the book, it was talking about Joseph and how his family uh, betrayed him, how his brothers. Um, and yet, Joseph, um, you know, he did not turn against his brothers. Uh, he showed them grace and mercy, um, despite what they had done to him. And, um, you know, the plans that were meant uh, for evil, uh, God used as good for Joseph. And um, I was just talking with one of my students yesterday uh, in a, one of our sessions at school. Um, and I had told him, I said, your haters are your elevators. He said, I'm going to get a tattoo uh, right here that says, my haters are my elevators. Um if you allow God to use those things that were meant to harm you and you walk in faith trusting that God's got you and that his will for you will be done and you do not turn from him, um, he will take all, all of those things and with learning... And with revelation, he will elevate you into positions. He will bless you. And I know he's done that for me. Um, as I walk with him and, and give things over to him, he reveals his plans for me. Um, he shows me glimpses of what's to come. And the greatest thing about walking with him, having a daily walk with him, is that every day is a new day. Every day is full of surprises. And that no matter what comes your way, you can have hope for your future. Um, even through adversity, like God uses that. I mean, he has a plan for it. And it's hard at the moment and it's, not what you would want at all but just that hope in knowing that he's going to use it and that great things are going to come from it gives you peace 
it's a surpassing peace, you know. Um, there are some things going on in my life and things I wish weren't. Um, and that I just wish it was peaceful and good and, um, but you know, we can't, we're just not in control, you know. It's how we respond to things, how we handle things, and, you know, I wish, I wish it was all good, um, but it's not, and so, you know, I'm going through some adversity uh, in my own life, and I could become upset, um, I could grow angry and bitter, and, um, you know, changes have been made, and I could just really let that affect me. But instead, I know that in the making, in the waiting, um, God is training and using and developing and just allowing something to happen during that time. And that we just have to have patience and not grow weary and not give up. Um, so patience leads to elevation um and in god's timing all things uh you know he goes ahead he knows um, and we can trust that and so i hope that these declarations as you hear them speak them over your life repeat them um that they bring you comfort and they give you peace knowing that our father loves you uh, his word will not return unto void. Um, he keeps his promise, promises. He's faithful. He's just. Um, he is the God of Re, uh, the Redeemer. Uh, just, I mean, like, I don't know what else to say other than uh, in him much is given and as I look across my my table I see forever grateful um, I'm going to turn it around and show it to you so right there forever grateful and then as I look behind me it says I have seen the goodness of God I've seen the goodness of God and one other thing that I'm going to take you and read to you um, and in this um, right here so it's this sign. Um, my best friend got that for me as a present. I'm trying to let you read it. Okay, it says, people are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies succeed anyway if you are honest and sincere people may deceive you be honest and sincere anyway what you spend years creating others could destroy overnight create anyway if you find serenity and happiness some may be jealous but be happy anyway the good you do today will often be forgotten do good anyway Give the best you have, and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. Because in the end, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. So as you end today, I want you to be validated only by God. You do not need the favor or validation or approval of anyone else. Man is not who you seek. You are to seek God's favor. And you are to live for him, not for man. And so I hope that you have a wonderful Saturday. Um, and blessings, uh, prayers and blessings I send to you. Thank you. I appreciate you listening and following. Uh, share if you like. Oh, one last thing. The book. The Bait of Satan. John Bevere. It's a great book.